My name is Doug Leatherberry, and uh, I've recently started a not-for-profit corporation, uh, myself and a few, a couple of volunteers. Uh, it's called the New American Democratic Republic, do DBA, New, uh, New American Democratic Party. And uh, the purpose of this uh, uh, not-for-profit organization is to focus on and help get rebuilt in the United States the two-party system that has been a, a bulwark for our checks and balances throughout our history. Uh, our founding fathers, when they wisely uh, created our Constitution and the United States of America, they believed that they had something, ne something that had never been done before in the world, but something that would not need political parties. Uh, this uh, Constitution and the Declaration of Independence focus on life and liberty, the two sides of the coin for all free men everywhere. We would all be equal. Uh, we would all uh, enjoy freedom. We'd all enjoy the uh, life and liberty. And we would not need political parties. We would rely upon our goodness, our creativity, our in industry, and uh, be a light for the rest of the world. So as we found out during recent years, these two parties uh, systems, uh, two party system that we have has become in disarray. Now we have uh, some good news today to report and I wanted to report that uh, as best I could. Uh, the Attorney General of Florida uh, recently filed a uh, action in federal court to get a t temporary restraining order, restraining the Biden administration from loosing, uh, releasing all of these, the surge of illegal immigrants into the United States without restrictions. So that is the, the best news that we've had during the last two years uh, on, on this enormous surge of illegal immigrants in the United States and the attack against the U United States. So we'll see how that will go. Uh, so far, the Biden administration has invited and brought in over six and a half million that, that's been reported, six and a half million illegal immigrants in the United States, many of them uh, children being uh, put into as, as sexual trafficking, many of them women who are being uh, put in the sexual business uh, and prostitution for women, and many of, uh, and mostly and men of military age, say 15 to 30 years old, good health uh, and uh, in the prime of life, who are being trained now in warfare. They're being trained, giving training in the United States. And once they get here, they get training in use of firearms and other military equipment uh, at, all over the United States. And we need to know uh, the question, why? Why would these people being brought in the United States and being trained in warfare? Well, we can only speculate, and there's probably about only about one conclusion for that. So we are under a desperate uh, attack and invasion by these people. But we do have some good news today uh, with this temporary restraining order, and this may lead to a lot of other good news as people in America re uh, realize what a danger our nation is in now. So we'll follow up on that. I will hope to get uh, more information on the uh, temporary restraining order and the outcome of that during the next few days. It will be appealed by the Biden administration. Uh, they are, haven't given up on what they want to do. So we will follow up on that. And thank you for listening uh, to this uh, video. I hope you will comment on it. I hope you will uh, con uh, call, call me and uh, Personally, if you want to, my number is 812-883-2291. And uh, subscribe to this channel and help us get the word out uh, what we're trying to do. So with that, I want to ask uh, the, the Lord, to God, to bless the United States and bless all Americans and everyone around the world. And with that, I will hope to see you soon. Thank you very much.